blessing Atu has endured a fever for days now and suspects she has malaria. Normally, she'd go to the hospital and get tested, but because of the coronavirus pandemic, she's trying an alternative, a rapid malaria test at this nearby community pharmacy. I'm used to doing this lab test where you take your blood and tell you to come back either the next day or come back four hours later, but with Wella Health, the test is very fast. You get it very, very fast. This pharmacy is one of thousands across Nigeria signed up on the Wella Health mobile platform. The startup is using local medicine vendors in Nigeria to bring quick and reliable malaria testing and treatment to thousands and close to where they live too. I can say 60% of the complaints I have in a day comprise of malaria symptoms and, um, well, fever in general, which at the end of the day will find out to be as a result of malaria infection because they come up with the common symptoms that we know, fever, body aches, some of them might have catar, cough, and headache in addition. So what we do definitely is to recommend the test for them. Nigeria has the world's highest caseloads of malaria, about 25%. The ailment also accounts for the most inpatient visits at hospitals. But since the coronavirus pandemic, health authorities say they've seen a significant drop in the number of non-COVID-19 consultations at clinics. Wella Health offers an alternative to the hospital. Our rapid malaria testing program is really making a difference because it's taking away all that attention from the hospitals which you need to treat the sicker people and manage the coronavirus patients. Last month, the World Health Organization warned the disruptions caused by the coronavirus pandemic could slow malaria interventions in sub-Saharan Africa and double deaths in the region to 769,000 by the end of this year. Agencies and NGOs focused on malaria are responding to this threat by distributing insecticide-treated nets in parts of Nigeria at high risk for the disease. Before the pandemic, we saw the decrease over 10 years of the prevalence of malaria from 42% to 23% in Nigeria. That's a great achievement. And these gains must be consolidated. We must not lose the gains because of COVID-19. At a time when movement restrictions and social distancing are priority, the Wella Health innovation is making sure that many like Blessing get quick access to malaria care and with a reduced risk of exposure to COVID-19. Timothy Yobiezu for VOA News Abuja.